So hey guys, I'm near my house and actually one of the coolest things about owning a home in a foreign country is you kind of get the best of both worlds. As you, some of you know, I've been traveling for the last maybe 10 or 15 years and sometimes it gets so tiring living out of Airbnbs or living out of hotel rooms and in my case, sometimes even hostels. And the thing I miss the most is having a kitchen to cook in. So one of my friends who's currently in Ukraine and staying in a hotel asked, can he come and cook in my home? So as nice as these restaurants are in the center of Kyiv and even just on my block, it is nice to have a home cooked meal sometimes and not always have to dine out. So join me for a little impromptu dinner party. We invited a few guests and we're gonna be having a home cooked meal by my private chef guys. And hopefully it'll be a safe quiet night, but I think it will be because we have high Mars and we have a Patriot systems to keep us safe here in Ukraine and that way we can have a somewhat normal life even while this war is happening and if you want to have your own little HIMAR system actually here's a way to get it guys are really excited a team of volunteers from Ukraine have initiated a project to build a the first ever self-assembly 3d wooden model of a HIMARS and it looks incredible this unique little replica is ingeniously designed to simulate actual firing of both the Gimblers and Attackums missiles. It's a really cool special design mechanism and as a special feature the model comes with a QR code that provides access to an exclusive interview with a real HIMARS operator that's involved in the Ukrainian conflict along with fascinating details on features of the actual HIMARS system. This project also helps the charity Children of Heroes that helps kids in Ukraine who have lost one or more two parents during the war. So here's how it works. If you want to contribute to the Kickstarter you're basically pre-ordering your model which will be shipped to you anywhere in the world and they're offering 30 percent off to get your own high mars there's also a full kit available which includes the targets a garage with a model military net all this cool stuff so to buy it all you do is click pledge under the reward button choose your country and any optional add-ins if so if you want your own shooting high mars and you want to support a good charity cause check out the link in the description below Yes, guys, you heard me right. You can buy your own mini HIMARS. So, wait a sec. Oh. Aaron is here, guys. Woo! Welcome. Let's do it. This is Kelly. Let's <laughs> invade your kitchen. Uh huh. Hey, hey. Kitchen takeover. Woo. What do we got? It's, it's Sunday night. We're just doing a little simple red sauce. Okay, okay. Oh. okay we got some spinach so we make it healthy. Like for Popeye, yeah. Herbs for the sauce. The I, got the, I got the nice uh, fancy olive oil. I got the fancy oh, pasta. fancy olive oil. Fancy pasta. Wow. I, I, the unique thing I don't understand about Ukraine is they sell almost all the butter in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard to find refrigerated butter. Yeah. Mm, but I did. I succeeded. Oh, nice. Yes. I would not be denied. Okay. Shoot, uh, it's nice. Most of, it was the only one that wasn't like frozen Spicy like a sound. rock. Okay, spicy, yeah. Um, uh, most important ingredient up here for the chef. Oh, nice, of course. Whew. Nice, buddy. What else, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, red wine. Uh -huh. Parmesan. Capers. Uh, garlic. And somebody's got a sous chef and mince all this up. Oh, uh -huh. and mince all this up for me. Okay. I um, I volunteer Andre. He's <laughs> good, good at cutting. Some lemons. Andre, did your mom ever make you uh, chopped onions or garlic? Oh, yeah. Uh, red, usually she, she, she does it. <laughs> oh, <no>. lazy. <laughs> oh, wow, you have real tinfoil. How did you get red on wrap? Uh, that's from <laughs> I was like, no. you, you know, it's impossible to find, like, uh, check this quality. This, you, in Ukraine, like, it's impossible to find such good quality, uh, foil. All right, like, you can Ready use, you can use this to repair a car. Returning your battery pack? Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> a random box bar of chocolate. Oh, thank you very much. Enjoy. But Imperial. Why, why do you so thick? Uh, okay, that's that's the question. Why does our tin uh, our tin foil need to be so thick, Aaron? Why is it It's a good question. Because um, everything like in America. You want stuff in the kitchen. You want like good tin foil. You don't want the shitty stuff that's gonna rip all the time on you. <laughs> Leak stuff all yeah. over the oven. No. Because in America, everything is uh, bigger and better. Let's say that. <laughs> I wonder if I have any Ukrainian tinfoil. Even this, this is terrible. Oh, I do have it. 
Oh, you can hear it crinkle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, no. this is the Ukrainian. Let's compare the two. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Uh -huh, like, like this is like, like if you can use this on the side of a space shuttle. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is like, <laughs> maybe that's it's really maybe yeah. we made too much for the Apollo program. <laughs> yeah. For the landers, we've just been selling it ever since. <laughs> a tremendous loss. Like Lockheed charged us billions for yeah. it. Yeah. Like, now we're just like, listen, man, your your kitchen results are going to be amazing. Yeah. All okay. right. So wow, guys, we got some good, good stuff. Yeah, the really, really good nice. tomatoes. Wow, parsley. I'm starting to get the kitchen. So, all right, so I'll keep. I'll leave you boys here. Have fun, Andre, sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys, if you guys need anything, uh, I'll be. Uh, I need. I need. Do, show me right. I need. I need knives, cutting boards. Uh, it's cutting boards there. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the chef's knife. Second cutting board. <laughs> yeah, Andre knows where it is. Down there. What? <laughs> so, Kachka, because she came here, now she's gonna get suckered into helping cook. <laughs> Never walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. What are you doing? Okay. So they need to they need to end up really small, like mints. Gordon Ramsay style. Do you have some press for garlic? No? Do you have your hands? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, why can in general, do you have this press? We have in the US, but actually it's not, you don't need it. You just smash it with, um, even with the, the thing it's on. It's like, you pay, it's like... You use it. You, all right, yeah, we're looking for that. Probably, you, maybe you don't find some knife on the kitchen, but you will find this uh, garlic press. Thing? Really? Okay, for my birthday <laughs> next year, you can get me one. <laughs> Okay, thanks guys, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Good luck. So lazy. <laughs> I times we'll smile really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, two days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go outside. Oh my god. Okay. Don't touch people. <laughs> if this is Gordon Ramsay, you guys are already be fired. <laughs> mm. It's so inefficient. So oh harsh. Now you show. <laughs> yeah, okay, here. Okay, okay. Oh. do what? Yeah, just slow it. I trust peel and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Whole garlic. Mm -hmm. Unpeeled, right? Garlic. And then what you do, you smash a couple of them. Right? <laughs> and that way. You can just grab it off, and you can even just grab this end. Mm -hmm. So then you take off that little black back paste, mm -hmm. and done. And then mince. Yeah, well, 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 well. but that's quick. Yeah, but that's I have quick. a small knife. For yeah. Mm -hmm. I should have brought a chef's knife. That's on me. No, that's right. Like even this, you can't do. You just have this small knife. Johnny, sh show us a few more. We're having trouble getting. Okay. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> And we get the Yeah, I think it's under on video and you want knife work. Um, <laughs> you're an excellent prep guy. But don't lose anything to the floor. Yeah. So, because this board is so small, it's better just to rock it. But mm -hmm. nobody can chop. Wait, like this size is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Master Chef. Master Chef. <laughs> you want to try? Yeah, let's try. Keep rolling. Okay, try, try with another piece. Is it like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. is, is, is it spinach? No. No. It's rucola. Yeah, it's it's rucola. Well, no, 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 Are we doing sauteed rucola? No, no, no. Sauteed rucola. Is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Oh, well, we're sauteing something, Mangolta. guys. It's named Mangolta. Mangolta? Mangolta. Okay. Any, any dark green with olive oil. And It'll be good. Okay, yeah. let's try it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show us some new technique. I already uh, feel it. Why? Is your is your like no? It gets back. Yeah, it's not real. Yeah. But it's easier when you have a press for garlic, <laughs> especially in such a, when you need to 
for so, so many garlic. Andre, try to smash him. I, I guarantee you it's faster. Huh? Smash it, it's faster. Try it. I guarantee it's faster if we put you on it, Johnny. <laughs> Somebody needs to film. I think that's a, a more, <laughs> more readily adaptable skill. <laughs> so, uh, Andre is tired, so he tagged me in. <laughs> Let's see how fast we can do this, guys. Speed faster, garlic. Faster. <laughs> Speed run, garlic condition. <laughs> oh no, you turn off. You, you know. Okay, um, how are you? I'm fine. Did you see? Uh -huh. I'm doing well. Yeah, you're trying to Even with this tiny knife. You have so tiny pieces. I'm always about the quality, not about the... I'm all about the speed, guys. Speed, you know, strength, quantity. Quality is nice. Important. Yeah, because I don't want to wash the garlic press after. Yeah. I, guys, I want one time you use garlic presses. It smells so nice. Yeah. So Oh, exactly. <laughs> That's my reward for being so fast. <laughs> you're doing you're doing great. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, what did you just ask? She's like, yeah. are you trying to give me a heart attack? She's like, are you going to use both things of olive oil? Yeah, it's just as It's like one liter of olive oil? No, no, it's like, that's like the one I'm taking home with me. Oh, okay. It's nice to take the up to when you get it. Yeah. We should, we'll try it with some bread, some dip. Um, these look like good tomatoes, though. Really good tomatoes. I brought those from home. Oh, wow. I was like, yeah, where'd you buy these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You brought these from mm -hmm. the U.S.? Yeah. How? Yeah. I got my waist. Can you believe that? Yeah. He smuggled these from America. Good tomatoes? <laughs> you can't live without that. We got tomatoes. Not like this, you know. We got, um, what we got? I'm not the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Some sauce, oh, not tomatoes. Yeah, it says. I don't know. We have tomatoes. We have tomatoes. Look, <laughs> same thing. Yeah, we just smell the oil. Okay, Kate. So you just asked about uh, a lot of olive oil. Too much olive oil. Uh huh. Did you see what he just put in the in the plate in the pan? Water. How much? How much? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so tasty. Just, just another butter. Oh, but you didn't say anything about the the kilo of butter. You just talked about you just talked about the olive oil. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I read it twice but, today. So. Yeah, 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 no, we're okay. We're okay. When I saw such big uh, piece of butter in the pan, I realized that I never cook for such big portions and like such sizes for many people. No, this is only for uh, two, uh, three people. Like this piece of butter is for me. How many people do we have? I've got three coming. coming. So four people. Eight. Eight total. Eight total. Okay, we're okay. Yeah. We're okay. By the way, I, I have three friends. Uh -huh. But I, I I knew Aaron was going to over, over buy it. Uh, yeah, he would know. <laughs> so they discovered my secret stash of... Reese's peanut butter cups. Actually, I got this from uh, Asia Foods. They gave it to me for my birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, it's uh, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. No, that's okay, it landed. We're lucky, it landed. Uh, no, no, it landed on the bottom. Okay, Ajay, have you had this before? Uh, I'm sorry, you've been seeing a while. Maybe I, I try it in the chair with the bread. What's wrong with this thing? Maybe it's a, your diet is telling you not to eat it. Am I fat? No. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me this? Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. I probably had right there. It's only in my, my childhood. You had it? How come I can't find it anywhere in Ukraine? It's not from Ukraine. No, I get a lot of uh, like presents from US in oh. my childhood. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I bought them. Uh, in Poland, and they have different things, not like this. Mm -hmm. Cups, they have, uh, have also white chocolate, oh. also different uh, like bars. Well, the best one 
If anyone from the U.S. is listening, I know what I know what you want. I know where this is going. Oh, do you know which one I want? Yeah, the fancy one. The one no. no, 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 no. no. That's too rich for my blood. I want the dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Oh, the Trader Joe's. A tub, ones. one of yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. Those are fine. Those are the best. <laughs> so. Uh, in America, we have this like uh, cheap grocery store called like our Atabe. It's, uh, it's called Trader Joe's, and they have a lot of like house brands. It's a German brand too. Oh, it's, yeah, it's an Aldi actually. It's their, yeah. yeah, their version of Aldi, and Aldi. they have yeah. But way better. Yeah, they have a tub. So like, imagine like this, but like five times the size, mm -hmm. and they have these but not wrapped. Like they have just the bottom cup, but without the packaging. Mm -hmm. And dark chocolate with peanut butter inside, and it's so good. It's the best thing I've ever had in my life. Cool. July 11th. <clears throat> <laughs> July 11th. No such thing as getting too many boxes of dark chocolate covered peanut butter cups. Uh, uh, Rose from Odessa. Always got to like Africa. throw the stuff in the yeah. Nice. I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, we also nice. have. Um, oh. So this is nice. uh, Savion Blanc from um, somewhere. Let me see where this. Is. Spain, Spain, I Spain? think. Spain, yeah, Spain, Spanish. We have Rosé from Odessa. Oh, uh, nice. Got to get some mama. Yeah, yeah. And then on uh, in a completely different continent, we have uh, red. Zoot Africa. Yes, exactly. Yes. Nice. And back here we've got. Uh, this oh. is Plonk from the Lesilpo region of Key. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I like it. Here we have also, um, I brought some sear. Awesome cheese, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Very nice. nice. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Right. And then and also, last but not least. Oh, bracelets. Yeah, man. Oh. Ukraine Freedom Processing Project uh, bracelets. Oh. Nice. Fre fresh, uh, fresh up yeah, manufacturing reel. <laughs> but actually, Aaron's been cooking the whole time. We do have an audience though now. Um, <laughs> just, just watching. Oh, I've been this. Very nice. Just gonna put a little bottle of rose hey guys. here. For more Diasa Mama. Are making a cooking documentary here? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll put this on um, HGTV, you guys. Johnny's internet folks. <laughs> <laughs> now, sorry, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Happy guys to you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, double fisting. Give me cheers. 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 Hey. Cheers. Hey, hey. What about? <laughs> Can you get a book? Yeah. Um, the chusnoi. Chusnoi, like tasty. Okay. E zadrovim. Zadrovim. What does that mean? Uh, from about uh, healthy food. Oh, yeah. Healthy. So this is a book about tasty and uh, healthy food. Chutnova. Yeah. Pisha. What is pisha? Wow. Food. Very nice. <laughs> 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 Love it. Oh. <laughs> Super brutal. Soviet healthy food. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh. I think this is actually probably older than half the people in this room. <laughs> Not us, but. <laughs> Where'd you get this one? Um, in a dumpster, actually. <laughs> I gotta do a little in Ukraine, obviously. Love the pictures. Yeah, I think every one of these pictures can be like framed as a piece of art. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't make it like they did. Do you want to try this for fish for Like you know, it looks like fish. You have only this fish skin, but inside is uh, some fish. Like uh, ground beef. I believe they in fish skin. They live. It looks like fish. But uh, I believe inside, not from fish, like maybe they mix. But the skin is from a real fish or no? Yeah, yeah, from real That's fish. That's disgusting. Why, why would they do that? It was in that book. <laughs> <so> I, <laughs> I, 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 
different dishes like yeah, uh, you always so have on some weddings you know it's very i believe it's quite complicated and uh, hard to make dish and, uh, so you like take a fish you grinning. throw away the meat nice. and then you put it you replace it with ground beef i'm sure you do something with the meat yeah you can't do it all the other way this thing like you know how they do like um in chinese cooking they'll do like um chicken skin dumplings but then the fillings will be pork uh, same okay. idea no, you see? Some sort of like, oh, that looks so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you like this dish? Oh, no, this one I don't like. Good. But, uh, yeah, usually I, I don't know, even my sister made it. Uh, and this also disgusting. Yeah. Oh, that, that looks, yeah. looks like a joke. Who would eat that? Oh my Especially, god. Especially, you know, in some, um, like, weddings, so like, big celebrations of birthdays, yeah. 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 some cafes, big... oh, yes, food. Oh, food. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I can if, tell you if I ever get married, don't buy me this. Oh. <laughs> I can tell you more that, uh, no, I'm not on the fish, I even saw, like, a chicken, something like this. What? Like, like, like a, a whole chicken? chicken. And, like, yeah, they made it, like, this Uh, probably, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cool. Seriously, a pasta with me. All right. Nice. So, Aaron, can you tell us what we have for uh, dinner tonight? So tonight we're having pasta puttanesca, which Ooh. is pasta for whores in Italian. Really? The okay. idea being that it gave, <laughs> it gave puttanesca is is prostitutes. Okay. Uh, it, it, it it gave the ladies of the night the energy, the robustness uh. with the garlic and the chilies to go out there and do their jobs. Okay. Um, I don't expect. Us aside, any prostitute in Sydney can't rule it out. But um, yeah, and we've got uh, some cheese and some fresh herbs to throw on top, some good olive oil. Oh, we've nice. got some greens to go with it. We've got garlic bread. Oh, I'm gonna take some, take some bread. Get in there. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And that that plate looks really nice, actually. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Some garlic bread. Okay, uh, Kachka, yes. here's a clean plate for you. Well, that's good. Could you help me? Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, guys. Okay, here we go. And then I'm just gonna like towel up like a little bit more sauce. Mm -hmm. Back up a little bit. Wow. There we go. And Beautiful. Olive oil. Oh, wow. Some fresh oh, herbs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kashka, how's it feel? Yeah, I'm This is a cooking show. Yeah. Greens. And some garlic bread. Some bread. Oh. Go. Cool. Divide it. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. More cheese. Of course. More cheese. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So we can't all fit here, so let's uh, go yeah, to the next table. Yeah, 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 yeah. More wine? More right. red? Uh, that wine is... No! I'm kidding. <laughs> I would blast all the wine. I'll have it go down. How do you think um, the priest would feel about the name of this dish? Uh, uh, my family? Yeah. Um, hey, it's looking amazing, so how can I feel? And maybe you can explain to him the name of the dish and how he feels. Um, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not the That's okay. I'm Officer Hayes. Ministers to all people. <laughs> okay, good. So, okay, so enjoy, good. guys. Enjoy the food. Whew. Aaron, buddy, thank you so much for cooking. Thank Fantastic. You. Pleasure, Pleasure to be here. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Ciao bella! Slava What did you say? Yeah, like for me. <laughs> Sorry for making you cough. <laughs> I said like it's the best pasta in my life. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Good. Really good. Thank you. Yeah. But Seriously. you missed the second part. <laughs> <laughs> that I wasn't in the <laughs> Italy. <or what? laughs> yeah. The Italians were like, oh, uh, I'm on now. I'm on now. <laughs> it's the best uh, pasta he's ever had outside of. Yeah. Yeah. Never been there. Better than Sri Lanka. Uh, better than Ukraine. <laughs> Italian. We can we can open our Italian place in Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. No, but really, this is fantastic. Like, I've, I've been to Italy, yeah. and I'll say even in Italy. Now I run a risk. Very kind. Very kind. Very good job. Wow.
guys to uh, safe open skies again. Hey, so, hey, so, here, so, here, so we can go to Italy more. Cheers, guys. <laughs> to uh, some safe skies above us. Here, here. Tuck, 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 tuck. So we're talking about first world problems. No, no, not on camera. That's a lot of cool stuff. What did Aaron just say? He also likes to drink. He said he misses his home cooking. That's what he said. That's that's the He lives in the Hilton full time. Meanwhile, guess who randomly shows up from Bakhmut? Yeah. You must be. Yeah, you must be absolutely. You smell. You like you just came from the front. Yeah. <laughs> I even brought my slippies. Oh, nice. There, oh, you, go. there we go. You know, I got tapestry, right? What's that? I got like a whole shelf of them. Oh, Do you like yours? Okay. Welcome, welcome back to Kiev. Yeah, thanks. What are you guys eating tonight? I made. I made pasta from Mexico. Oh, all the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, all yours, buddy. Shit. I made it you know what? Give, put it put it in that bowl. Give him the whole bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, no, yeah, just toss it in the bowl. Appreciate yeah, it. There you go. Just take a whiz, bro. Yeah. I just want to take a whiz. Yeah. But, uh, did you, uh, connect with, you connected with Dave, right? I don't remember. I'm not sure. I would Dave. Dave Black, he's on. Uh, so, you guys, thanks for coming. That's fun. It's curfew time, so everyone needs to leave before 12. Sorry, Kyle. Kyle's in time. I can get Aaron, thank you so much for cooking. Thank you everyone for coming over. And Patrick just came by for two days and he's actually back on the front lines. He actually asked me if I can help him with a campaign to raise money for a recovery vehicle, like a tow recovery vehicle to pull um, you know, cars that got hit by landmines out of ditches. Uh, and I said, with the NAFO truck, uh, I basically spent all the money that I had left over from the GoFundMe campaign. Uh, for anyone who's uh, asking about it, uh, the GoFundMe, the first year, we used all the money for things like food and medicine because it was really, really vitally needed in Ukraine. Uh, but as of 2023, you know, all the supermarkets are open again. Um, a lot of the refugees left the affected areas and now moved to Europe and other places. So. You know, food isn't vital anymore, but uh, helping the soldiers on the front line, both the volunteers and the Ukrainians, that's vital. And unfortunately, it's been so hard to raise enough for the NAFO truck that I've told Patrick, I don't think my audience has it any more than them. They have their own bills to pay. Um, you know, the war's been dragging on for so long, a year and a half. People are just tired, um, you know, and they just can't do it. So. Uh, unfortunately, I think this NAFO truck campaign is going to be the last one. You can check out the link below to see if we hit our goal or not. Uh, I had promised in the last video that I will match all the donations um, to get us over the finish line, but that only works if you guys donate as well. I don't have enough money in, in the account to, to get us all the way over. So see where we are, and uh, if we are you know getting close and you want to just help us get over that finish line then that would be really appreciated we can get there for the truck and maybe we can uh, see about helping patrick's unit out as well because i know he needs it but um till then you know there's only so much so much i can do thank you guys for your support leave a comment below let me know what your thoughts are uh, both on the video the home cooking uh, if you've ever missed having a kitchen and also uh, about the charity. Slavic change. See you guys in the next one.